Welcome to the Ari booth. My name is Henrik Voss and I want to talk about the news in the electronic control system at this year's IBC. So what's new is the new controlled lens motor CLM5. As you see, it's a very small and lightweight motor, approximately 200 grams. And it's small, lightweight, but also exceptionally fast. So it's very well suited for lenses that don't require much torque. Um, so with this motor, then, you will have the speed to move the lens very quickly. Of course, due to its small size and weight, it's perfectly suited for applications uh, where size and weight matters, for example, on drones, camera gimbals. And of course, it's a nice addition to the range of CLM motors that we are having. So now we have the CLM3. It's a very strong and fast motor for big lenses requiring a certain amount of torque. Then we have the CLM4 and the CLM2, like a medium range uh, motor. And now we have the CLM5, small lightweight motor. That's also very well on an iris scale, like on, on this application here, for example. And you see it moves very fast. It has a cable that can be um, fixed or, or dismantled with two screws. So if the cable breaks, you can very easily remove it and replace it. And we are also going to offer open-end cable for those of you who want to have their own solutions. So that's a CLM5 motor. The other new thing that we are showing in this IBC is a monitor mount uh, for the WCO4 hand unit. So with this monitor mount, we can mount any kind of onboard monitor to the WC4 handset. In this case, we put the Ari Trans Video monitor on top. And it's a very nice solution because you, you can change the angle. Um, it has a very low profile and the materials that are used don't really interfere with the radio system here. So it's a small, lightweight uh, system that allows you to carry the handset with an onboard monitor when you want to see a live in an image uh, on, your, on your handset. And one more very useful thing is that if you reconnect the UMC4 motor controller to the Amira camera, the Amira is basically becoming um, an Amira Plus. So I can now change the camera settings like frame rate, shutter angle, exposure angles, and so on through the handset for the Amira camera. So I select the frame rate on the handset, uh, the frame rate is transmitted to the UMC4 and from there changed on the Amira camera. So we have a new software for the WCU4 handset. It's being released end of September. And the major um, new thing is that we have um, improved the lens programming mode. So we now offer a custom lens programming mode Besides the quick mode that already existed in the, in the um, previous software version, the custom lens programming mode allows a higher number of data points for the focus scale. So you can now uh, program the focus scale with more data points, which makes it more accurate. You are also more flexible in selecting the data points you're programming. So this means now we are, it's even easier to program lens files for any lens, so that you can le get lens data with any lens. And with the lens data for any lens, you get four benefits of lens data, which is, of course, the lens data display on the handset, but also uh, the, the focus mapping to Primark focus rings, the focus tracking with our ultrasonic devices, for example, on a slate in the beginning of a shot, and, of course, the lens data for post-production um, when it comes uh, to VFX-heavy post-production, you know which lens you are using, how the setup of the lens was, all this is captured with the images, or as a metadata file with the UMC4 universal motor controller. And for the UMC4, we also have a new software update, SUP 1.2. And the one new thing about it is that it supports the CLM5 motor, of course. And the other new exciting feature is that we are further integrating with the with Amira camera. So now when you connect the UMC4 with the Amira camera with the cable UMC4 to EXT on the Amira and you use a LDS lens like in this case, 
the camera will automatically detect the type of the lens and the setting of the lens through the LDS mount and then pass that information to the UMC4 where it will be automatically available. You can display the information from the LDS lens without having to manually select the lens file. And then the same information, of course, is shown on the handset and can be used for focus mapping to pre-marked rings or for focus tracking with the ultrasonic device. Now, the other thing that there are some small but very useful details that we improved, for example, if you don't want to use ultrasonic distance measure display because you don't have to use it, you will get the readout of the handset on the handset anyway. You can get rid of the display, maybe you don't want it because you want a very lightweight camera setup. And we have an automatic synchronization now because we, between the lens focus scale unit, for example in that case metric, and the readout of the UDM, so that will be automatically also metric even if you don't use the display. And if you have a feed lens with imperial scales, you will also automatically now get a feed readout of your ultrasonic distance measure on your handset. And there's no mismatch between metric readout and imperial readout between UDM1 and the lens scales. So that is another very useful improvement of the UMC4 um, software. I encourage you all to update your units because it just makes the system better. It's a free update available from our website and if you want more information about our tools please check the website ari.com and for the ECS electronic control system ari.com slash ECS. Thank you.